give it a butcher's knot right here. I usually go three times. Let's see here. Come on, work with me. I think that's pretty good. Swing back around. I'll swing, swing back around from the bottom. Give it another another butcher's knot. Something like that. And then we just cut off the X's butcher twine. Today we're using Suckle Busters Honey Barbecue Rub. Let's start with the back. We're gonna be very liberal. Season nice and heavy. Try to get all sides. It's gonna be the easiest cook ever, guys. Easiest cook ever. You're gonna be blown away at the end. This dish is gonna be phenomenal. That good. Just come in here. I took that wing in. I mean, you don't have to trust it. But I'm gonna just do it because. I feel like doing it. <laughs> this is it. All right, guys. I'll meet you outside. Let's go ahead and start that fire. Fire is ready. We're going to go ahead and put the lid on because I want this to come up to temp. And I'll bring you back. Stick around, guys. As you can see, the smoke is very thin. And, I hope, and I'm hoping that the camera can pick it up because it's very thin thin blue smoke and that's exactly what we're looking for when we smoke our proteins let's go ahead and take this lid off we're gonna put it right here so we'll put our lid right back on let's take a look at it it's been 25 minutes we're gonna turn this around so we can get some even cooking Put the lid back on and I'll see you back in another 25 30 minutes. Stick around, guys. Let's take a look at it. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful color. A little darker than I want it. And I did temp it, it was at 155. So at this point, let's see if I can pick this bad boy up. Oh, yes. We're gonna cover it with foil. Once this is done, I'll see you guys inside. So nice and hot. Woo wee. It looks beautiful. Check for temp. 195, 196. Right here in the breast. 190. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's build our sauce. We're gonna let this rest. All right, guys, time to build this mole sauce. So I got the bird right here, and I want the juices. A couple tablespoons, maybe half a cup. And then we're gonna add abuelita, abuelita chocolate. You guys don't have this? Buy it. <laughs> you can use this for hot chocolate, Mexican hot chocolate. And you also can use it on cooking. So I got one, one bar, if you will. We're gonna set it right here. I mean, you can add two, three, it depends how chocolatey and how sweet you like your mole. So this is what I usually do. Just put that chicken stock, that liquid, and I make sure this chocolate melts. I do have my heat on medium high so we're gonna let that go for a few minutes and here it is don maria man this is easy mole ready to serve guys this is what i use all the time 
we're gonna go ahead and use two of them and simple just pour your mole in there get all these beautiful flavors mixed up this is a beautiful thing guys this is a beautiful dish you like mole quick and easy this is it but I wanted to put a little twist to it I wanted to smoke the chicken because I haven't had smoked mole before or smoked chicken mole we all know anything that's smoked is absolutely fantastic let me raise my heat up to medium heat we're gonna simmer this down just a little bit maybe five ten minutes max that's it this is it guys nothing much sauce is ready bird has rested good 20 minutes still super hot it's all good let's knock off this butcher's twine and this is the reason I why I smoked the whole chicken so this is one that come in here take off this quarter leg hopefully it doesn't fall apart on me the wings must come off obviously it's juicy and tender let me try to flip the bird this way I want this quarter leg right here there we go yes it's gonna be some good eats guys good eats so juicy man you can even see a smoke ring on there exactly what I was looking for let's go for a quick taste guys oh my goodness mmm talk about smoky freaking outstanding beautiful guys check it out so juicy all right guys put my chicken on a little fancy plate let me show you my beautiful famous rice you guys want to learn how to make this i got a dedicated video i will put in the in the links down below so mexican rice gotta make enough room for that rice this rice is that good My famous rice guys scoop some in here right over the chicken guys like this. It's this time that I've been waiting for, guys. Let's get a little bit of this chicken right here. Oh, pork tender, obviously. Look at this, guys. Look at a little bit of a smoke ring there. Oh. Let's try it with the sauce. Freaking amazing. Look at this. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Talk about smoking. Mmm. Try that famous rice of mine. I like Mexican. I like mixing it with the sauce and the chicken. I want a nice good bite here. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Highly recommended. As you guys do this dish outstanding guys so outstanding so delicious this is the traditional way we usually eat it just pour all the shredded chicken into the mole just 
just like this guys just to the side and all you do is mix it and get that mole all over the chicken let me tell you guys this is one of the one of our favorite meals we probably eat this I want to say once a week once every two weeks but this is one of our main dishes we always eat right here I, I never smoked it it's the first time ever and let me tell you from now on we're gonna be smoking our chicken because it doesn't get any better than this guys so that's it right here check it out freaking outstanding the sauce is nice and sweet chocolatey real smoky flavor the rice is off the hook everything combined it perfect guys well thank you for watching the 805 barbecue junkie i'll catch you guys next week take care